I'm going to show you another Premiere Pro uh, trick I've learned. This one is for collapsing clips on a timeline. So let's say you've gone through and organized, <clears throat> I'm going to open up this timeline here so you can see. This was my timeline, it was just all the files from two different folders, but the folders were both the same kind of event. So I just went through all the clips and you can see that these are the only clips that I thought I wanted to use at the entire sequence. So not that much. So my, my actual sequence is two and a half hours long. And when I go and re remove all the clips I don't want, it looks like this. Now the problem is I can scrub through these to see what they are, but it's a little time consuming and it's not as convenient as if all the clips are collapsed together. Um, and I'm going to show you a quick way of doing that because otherwise you would have to like, you know, go in here and do like a, you know, one at a time deleting and that's just going to take forever. So let me show you this cool little trick for collapsing all these clips in one fell swoop. Create an adjustment layer, and let's just drag it up here to video track three, and let's just make it the full length of our timeline. All right, so there it is. Now select your clips, and it's easier if all your clips are on one timeline. I actually have two separate timelines. Um, and why do I have clips on two separate timelines? That's because I had some audio that I wanted and I had it on a different track in the video. So anyways, if you have stuff on two different timelines, it still works. This will definitely get you close. So check it out. Select all your clips, click and drag them up to the next layer and make sure that you don't move forward in time. There we go. All right, and now I want to drag them back down. What's re what remains is all these gaps from where I put the clips up there. Now just select your adjustment layer and ripple delete. And look at that. Now they're all closed together. Now there's still a few little gaps here. Because I have so few, I, mean, I think it's easier to just manually do these. But if you wanted, if you had a lot more, you could just do it again with the next layer. So now you can see we're taking two and a half hours and we've condensed it down into 34 minutes. Very few steps. Now it's very easy for me to scrub through this material and look at all my best takes and see which ones I want to use.